Not all hair and fur effects require a full-on dynamic simulation. In fact, some effects don't even require something that even physically resembles a plausible motion. For example, in some cases you just want to add some randomness to the fur or make it move in some places due to uh, wind turbulence or some other force, for example, if you have some plants underwater and you just want them to kind of sway back and forth, same as vegetation going in the wind. For this, we have a special operator in Ornatrix called Noise, and you can add it on top of the stack or anywhere in between by adding the Noise Operator node. Once you have it added, the noise will introduce some deformation to your hair. In the top, we have our standard strand group and blend distance parameters, which allow you to filter the strands, which the noise will be applied to. Then we have the random seed and the amount parameter, which controls how much noise is applied to the hairs. You can also assign a map here and control the noise from the root of the strands towards the tip. In the default case, we have more noise applied to the tips and less noise applied to the root. And at the very root, we have no noise at all. You can change this by adjusting this curve. You can also assign a channel and you can specify how much noise gets applied in each direction, uh, direction vector of your scene. So you can limit it, for example, just to the Z axis like this and the rest of the axis will not get any noise applied to them. You can also control the scale of the noise. This is pretty standard in most noise operators. If you increase the scale, you get more high frequency manipulations of the strands. And if you decrease it, you get a smoother, more kind of grouped together noise look. You can have the parameters applied in world space or in object space. In our case, it doesn't matter because our transform on this node is identity. So we haven't rotated it or scaled it. And uh, you can choose to preserve strand length or not to preserve it. When you don't preserve it, the, the deformer will just deform all the strands as it wants to and not concern itself with making sure that the strands remain the same length as they were before the noise is applied. So by preserving strand length, it's more realistic for hair and fur where the hair doesn't stretch. You can also change the offset of the noise. In some cases, it's called a phase. In our case, we just call it offset. You can offset it in each axis separately. And because this is a four-dimensional noise operator, you can also change the time offset. Besides just changing the time offset, you can also make the noise move. So you can animate it directly inside this operator. For example, I can move it along the X axis only, and I can set some speed parameters to control how fast it moves. And when I play back, you can see that our hair is animated. And if we change the speed, the noise mo moves much quicker. Again, if I uncheck the preserve length, you can see the difference of the, ap of the applied effect of the noise on the hairs that are un unconstrained by length versus hairs that are constrained by length. I can mo move the direction of the noise in any axis or in between. I can also make it happen on all three axes, in which case it kind of just goes randomly in all directions. Again, if you have a wind or some kind of source of, uh, of a force inside the scene, you can set the direction in world coordinates here and have the hair move as if it was uh, moved by water or wind or something. So this is the noise operator and I think it's pretty useful in the majority of situations just because of its speed. It does not require any physical simulation and it's very procedural. So you can apply it anywhere inside your stack and uh, be assured that the results will be consistent and very quick.